gentlemen, we are in the eternal lightweight division, all thanks to LMR and AB Cranes. Introducing first our blue corner, who hit the scales at 70.6 kilos. His professional fight record, 16 fights, 8 victories. He trains under Joel Zepasvari at the Combat Lab on the Sunshine Coast. Please welcome Ben Wall. His opponent in the red corner, at 70.7 kilos, a veteran of 26 professional fights. He's the former eternal lightweight champion, the former Fight World Cup lightweight champion. He fights out of Samurai MMA in Harvey Bay for what tonight is his final appearance inside the cage. Please give it up for Greg, the Tarantula at Sorry. Well, good evening to you once again, ladies and gentlemen. Eternal 39, our second professional bout of the evening, features Greg Atsori versus Ben Wall in the lightweight division. Tanira Nathan, cage side with Jake Anderson. And Jake, what a night it has been so far. Yeah, absolutely. And just straight off the bat, I have to say thank you to Greg Atsori for a storied history in Australian MMA. He's been a pillar of the MMA community fought the who's who in the country, pulled out some big wins when people counted him out. So, Greg Atsori... Thank you. Let's get into it. Absolutely. His opponent standing across from him is none other than Ben Wall. Both knees strapped. Needless to say, he's been through the wars himself. Yeah, absolutely. Ben Manuel Wall, a UFC veteran, fighting here on Eternal MMA. A pleasure to have him here for the promotion. Eternal MMA, Australia's premier mixed martial arts organisation. Such a deep takedown from Ben Manuel Wall. But as I say that, Ben Wall slams him to the ground. Training at a combat lab now is Ben Wall. Fantastic jujitsu minded school up there under Joel Zepsvari. Looking to lock up a head, head and arm there. I'll tell you what, if he can move into side control, Greg Atsori is in trouble as he yeah. is looking for an arm triangle here. Ben Wall. That is deep. Looking very tight. Greg going belly down, trying to fight it. But Greg Atsori, a veteran of the sport, knows exactly what to do. In doing so, he gives up his back. One hook in on the bottom. My goodness, and you can see the difference in experience. Yeah, under the chin. Ben He's Wall. Ben Manimal Wall. He's just chilling here. He's choking. It's not maximal effort because one of those arms is being controlled by Greg, but <laughs> he's in a precarious position to say the least. Unorthodox punching from Greg from the bottom, and that is under the chin now. I tell you what, the pressure there must be something chronic. Absolutely. It's going to take more than that to finish a guy like Greg Azori, though, oh. especially in his last fight. Absolutely. The left arm is the one being controlled. That Ben Manimal Wall needs to get out to solidify that choke. One arm is just not going to do it. Using the cage is Greg Azori, the crafty veteran. No stranger to this position. Very, very tight is Ben Manuel Wall. How long can he hold that grip for, do you think, well, that, until his right arm starts well, to gasp? Well, that, that's what I'm thinking. You know, the pressure there must, must be something strong. If that left hand comes up, look for a quick finish mm. from the man they call the Manimal. But Greg Atsori, like you said, in his possibly last fight tonight, is it, Jack? Yeah, apparently. Last one for Greg Atsori. Well, let's not count him out just yet. As that's hands Wall together. There's a hands together. That is deep now. Greg fights one of the hands. Ben off. Wall and comes back on. Finish. That is deep. I do not know how Greg Atzori is still in this fight. And it's locked up yet again. The veteran fighting for his life, his career here at the moment. That is a tap. Ben, ben Wall submits Greg Atzori. Not the retirement party that Greg Atzori wanted, but went out valiantly on his shield. And a great show of respect there, Jake. I'll tell you what, it was all one-sided. Ben Wall defeats Greg Atsori, and like you said, not the retirement party you wanted. 
but such a very, very deep double leg takedown from Ben Wall. And like you said, he went into the head arm choke, forced Greg Outdoor to defend by taking his back. Fantastic showing by Ben Wall, especially against a veteran like Greg Outdoor. My commiserations to Greg Outdoor, Ben, thank you for the storied history. Get stopped to the time at 3 minutes 16 seconds of round one. It's a tap out due to a rear naked choke. And the winner in the blue corner, Ben Wall. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the man they call the Manimal Ben Wall. Ben, congratulations on your victory tonight. How does it feel to walk away with the win over a guy with a degree to good work, such as Greg's story? It feels great. Greg's a champion. It's a shame to, that it's his last fight, but that he's been around for a long time, and yeah, nothing but respect for Greg. Um, yeah, next question. <laughs> It's not very often that you see guys with such a decorated career. Obviously, Greg, over 26 fights in the cage. You yourself have fought in the UFC. What's next for you? Just keep winning fights, proving that I'm the best. I'm one of the best in the world. Definitely the best lightweight in Australia. And, I, yeah, I fight any lightweight in the world. You heard it first here, ladies and gentlemen. The man they call the animal, Ben Wall. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Just before we move on to our next bout of the evening, I'm here with Greg Atsori. Greg, is this your last fight? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been coming for a bit of a while. Um, just, yeah, I uh, want to concentrate on other things, mate. Family, being around for my kids longer, things like that. So I feel, bar, obviously, mate, you see everyone's dream, but bar that, I feel I, I did everything I wanted to do in Australian MMA. I kept my my dignity and, and didn't get angry, didn't get upset in any call and everything. And I felt I come out here to fight no matter who was in front of me. I had respect no matter what the opponent did. And I just hope the generations coming up do the same. And I don't like this trash talk and all this rubbish. I think just mutual respect needs to go back to it. And um, there's, there's some good Aussies in Australia. Hopefully they go on to big things. Greg, not only are you a household name in MMA in Australia, you set a great example for those aspiring to be where you are. Is there a message you'd like to send to those who had the same dreams that you had when you started your career? Dedication. Um, just train your ass off. Train your ass off. Be a good sport no matter what happens in here. Um, and listen to your coaches. Have good coaches. Don't come in here without coaches. Um, you think you can do it from your backyard or something? Get good people behind you and follow that dream. Um, and yeah, like family, friends, my support. I've got cousins that come up from New South Wales, everything, to watch my last fight. Um, I've, I live far away and yet Cam puts on a great show down here and gets me down here like I'm a local. I appreciate things like that. Well, Greg, on behalf of Eternal and the, and the National Australian Mixed Martial Arts Association, we want to thank you for it as, as fantastic career. Congratulations and all the best with your future endeavours. Thank you very much. Greg, it's sorry, ladies and gentlemen.